Well, Monica, fresh off the plane, what an incredible week for you in Rio. First of all, what did that gold medal mean for you personally? Well, it meant the world to me, and not just for me, but for my country. It was the first medal uh, for a woman in my country and the first ever gold medal for Puerto Rico. So it was just the, the cherry on top of a perfect week. I mean, as you say, it's such a historic moment, really, for the country. Have you had much feedback from uh, any idea what's been going on at home? I saw several videos of when I played. Uh, there was nobody in the streets, and apparently uh, it was like one of the first days in, in Puerto Rico where there was no crime. Anyway, it was, you know, a day of total bliss, total peace. Everybody was so happy, screaming, yelling. Uh, you know, it was, it was incredible. Obviously, it's very different for tennis players when they go to the Olympics. They used to be on the tour. Very different dynamic playing for your own country. I mean, aside from everything else, before you even got the gold medal, what does it mean to represent your country in a tournament like the Olympics? Well, it's just amazing. Every time I put on the colors of my country, I know that I'm going out to represent them as best as I can. And to be at the Olympics, it was great. I stayed in the village, and we're a small de delegation of about 40 athletes. So we were all very close-knit, going to dinner together. And when we would have therapy in the treatment room, we were all, like, laughing and having jokes and putting things on Snapchat, it was really fun. I mean, some players really seem to thrive in that environment. You certainly did, and you had to come through some very tough matches. I mean, from a, from a sort of sporting point of view, how pleased were you with the way you were playing, especially, you know, that final against Angie in the end there? Well, I feel like I played the best tennis of my life that whole week. Um, I know that I can play at that level, but just to have it click at the right time, at the right moments in the tournament was key. And I felt like with every match I went improving, so, um, I was just really happy with my overall performance and the way that I was mentally prepared in each match. It's such a tough schedule on any Olympic year. It sort of slots into this sort of North American series we have now. I mean, how are you feeling physically? How tired are you? And obviously the traveling included. And are you ready to get back to it in Cincinnati now? Well, unfortunately, I won't be competing in Cincinnati. Uh, my body hasn't quite recovered yet from everything that's gone on. Um, but, you know, looking to get some good rest and recovery for the U.S. Open, uh, definitely recover a couple of lost hours of sleep. I haven't really gotten much sleep in the past few days. But, um, you know, just really excited for this opportunity and to be able to celebrate it with my family is, is number one.